Moving on. Jordan writes, I'm getting gigabit fiber installed next week. Welcome to the club, man. The, the, only, the only bad part about this club is I, there's, there's no current option of going up and you can only move down from here. <laughs> you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. You're never yeah. going to want to leave. <laughs> You're never going to want to leave. That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's, moving on. That's not what it's, this is really oh. about, though. Uh, he says, I currently use the Eero Pro, uh, the 802.11ac version, and I'm somewhat happy with them. I previously used a Synology RT 2600 and liked it, but switched to the Eero for the simplicity. So fair. I bought the new Wi-Fi 6 Synology router uh, with plans to use that for my new fiber connection. But my fiber provider, Frontier, provides two Eero Pro 6 units, and this has me torn. I don't need mesh for coverage in my home. I just want the fastest and most reliable network possible. Can you compare and contrast the two options? I can. I have all of them here. In fact, I've been testing the new Eero Pro 6Es as well. And I, so my setup changes all the time uh, because I test things all the time. However, when I'm in default mode, like after I'm done testing something, when everything goes back to quote unquote normal here in, uh, I guess it's not the TMO Towers East anymore, John. Maybe it's the MGG Towers North. Um, but here in MGG Towers North, the default setup is the Synology router, now the RT6600AX, and but with its Wi-Fi off, and now the Eero Pro 6E throughout the house to provide my mesh. So the Eero is in bridge mode, and the Synology is doing the routing. This is... I, I know there are many of you out there that actually do the same thing, and, and there's a good reason for it, right? Because the, the Eero is by far and away the best Wi-Fi mesh for most. It's not like it's hard to say that one thing is best for all, especially when it comes to wireless, but certainly for most. And the Synology router allows me all the flexibility that I want in a router, including all the features that I want, like a inbound VPN and uh, using different uh, uh, oh, what, what are they called? The VLANs, right? All of that stuff, which I'm now using some because I'm crazy. And the port forwarding and the tracking and, uh, you know, the reporting, all of that stuff is fantastic on the Synology router. It's a little nerdy, but the web interface actually takes some of that nerdiness and 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 makes it a little bit comfortable. Uh, I choose to put the arrow on bridge mode, like I said, and and use it as my Wi-Fi. But for most people... I recommend, especially people who need mesh. Now, Jordan, you're in a weird position because you you say you don't need mesh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain why you might. But uh, for most people, n most folks need mesh. And so my easy recommendation is Eero. Uh, certainly the Eero Pro, the 802.11ac version works great. The Wi-Fi 6 version, the Eero Pro 6e uh, is spectacular. Uh, and I like it a lot. Because it will use that six gigahertz channel for backhaul as well as front haul. And since our iPhones 14 do not have a, uh, a six gigahertz Wi-Fi chip in them, that means that our homes are not cluttered with client devices using six gigahertz. I actually see this as a good thing. I know it seems strange, but being able to use the six gigahertz spectrum and leave that free for the backhaul between your Eero devices, that is going to be key. And it, like, it's not going to last forever. They, we will get six gigahertz on our client devices. There are already many out there that have it, but our iPhones don't have it. Our Macs don't have it. So those of us in Apple land get this sort of constrained version of, of actually a pretty good world. Uh, if you go with like a, the Eero Pro 6e and the user interface for the Eero routers is uh, and the whole Eero mesh is simple. It lets you do many things, uh, including, you know, the port forwarding and all of that stuff that you would want to do or need to do. Uh, it doesn't do VPN or anything like that, but it, it certainly uh, is a, it, it's a, it's a very capable interface. And, and there's a reason that the Eero sits, you know, up there at the top of my, my mesh list. There are, there are, the mesh world is evolving all the time. So stay tuned for uh, any more information that may or may not be coming from various mesh vendors. But at the moment, the Eero Pro 6E is absolutely my favorite of these uh, and for good reason. So which should you get, Jordan? Because you're in a home where you say that you 
need you don't need mesh and you already have the Synology. I think he said he could return it and uh, you get the Eero 6E for free. That's a, let me say this about homes that don't need mesh. One nice thing about a mesh system is you get Wi-Fi bandwidth to each mesh point separately. So if you've got a lot of people streaming, even if you don't need mesh for coverage, you might like to have mesh for simultaneous streaming bandwidth. And a lot of folks have found that to be a great benefit of mesh, even if you can reach the, the router from all points in your home. So, I, you know, I still lean towards most homes needing mesh. Now, would you need three units? Maybe not. Maybe a two pack would be enough, which just sounds like is what they're sending you, Jordan. So I, I don't know that I would want to be, I don't know that I would want to have my own Wi-Fi setup that wasn't mesh in today's world, regardless of the size of the home, unless it was just me there. Then if the size of the home meant that coverage was okay, then I'd probably be all right. But otherwise, with multiple people in the house, I, I, there's a benefit to having mesh. So I, I think I would lean towards the, the Eero, although obviously I love the Synology router. It is the thing that routes my home. So you I've seen Pete and John lean, ask leaning in. Sorry, Pete, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, I said you answered my question before I could ask it. I'm going, well, uh, you know, do I get the two? Do I get the three? You know, that sort of thing. Um, and then, but then the other thing is, especially if you've been a cable cutter and you're now using direct TV stream, YouTube TV, any of those, you're going to want that extra bandwidth. Right. Right. You know, you're trying to stream TV and someone's trying to use a computer. Someone's gaming. You know, I got a teenager gaming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. And that can make a big difference to have that, you know, sort of, you know, yeah. not on an overloaded Wi-Fi circuit. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Jordan. You just cost me 600 bucks. 